Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on the Silver Run Force map. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I am bringing you back uh, kind of on the tail end of our final logging here on um, Farmland or Logging Land 18. And I just want to uh, report that I really like using the skitter. I, I still think that... Um, that the yarder definitely has its place too uh, probably more on you know really hilly terrain but for flattish terrain um, this is way better at least it is for me um, if you look over yonder there I have a really nice straight neat pile of 12 meter logs um, that I've been able to to take over there with the skitter in at least the same amount of time as it would have taken me to yard them, if not quicker. But the problem with the yarding is then I would have a big old tangled mess that I'd have to sort out. Whereas here I can just take them there and have them nice and neat right from the get-go. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this machine. Um, again, for for flatter territory anyways, it's, um, it's working out quite well. Now, when I left you in the last episode... I was cutting the trees to, to full length, and that was a pain in the butt. Um, I had a hard time, you know, it was, it was tough to get them over there. I had a hard time picking them up with the harvester head. Um, so this time, you know, for this last batch of trees here, I decided just to cut, you know, cut them to their 12 meter lengths and then, you know, the shorter six ones, meters too. And this has worked out much, much better. So, oh boy, that stump's going to be right where I need to go. Let's see if we can straddle it. Um, so yeah, this has just worked out really, really well. Yeah, that stump's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, and I'm, we're pro we probably will have two more 12-meter trailer loads. And we've got to have, I'd say, two to three 6-meter container loads Two at least. We got so many six meter logs as well. All right, can I scooch in here and scooch around that way and then push? There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So, this is a great machine. I am definitely going to buy this machine. Uh, we have this machine to buy and we have the big high lift to buy because uh, currently I'm leasing them uh, but I really love both of these machines man they are amazing I'm not sure though if I'm gonna buy those machines first or get the Rotney harvester um, and continue leasing these and then you know purchase them at a later point in time when we can um, we do need to start thinking about our next farmland. Well, I actually know what my next farmland is going to be. It's going to be the, the the flat piece of land right down by the store, and that's I don't know. That's like 115,000 or something. So you know, we definitely need money for that. But I think after after we're done with this property, I'm going to get the Rotney, even if I have to start by leasing it. Um, using the excavator has worked out fine it, it it works good it's just it's slow it's uh you know skid steer driven and it the alignment thing doesn't work on it. it it'll show the marker on the tree but it won't actually align do the alignment thing so for those reasons i'm probably not going to keep using it to harvest trees but i'm, I'm going to keep it though for you know it's other uses like planting trees and, and stuff like that so all right, let's pick up this one lone piece of wood here. And I still have, you know, I still have all the shorties to get to, but this little batch of, of long logs is our last batch of 12 meter logs. And then I have to come around, you know, get all the six meters and all the, the scrap logs. I also ran the excavator out of fuel, so I went down to the store and bought the, the field service unit thing. Um, here's just a couple of quick clips of that.
Yeah, so I like that little field service unit. I have it on the Elm Creek series too. Because uh, I used all the fuel up in that little John Deere. Well, not the John Deere, but the green plastic tank that I got um, several episodes ago. And I figured, well, I'm not going to use that anymore. I need something a little more substantial. Uh, plus, as you saw in the clip there, that unit will also repair too uh, in the field. So really nice uh, to have. Okay, so let's gra grab um, a batch here. That's all you're going to give me? Um, okay, let's see if we can get a few more than just that. Yeah, let's kick those out of the way for a second. And actually what I'm going to do is grab, see if I can grab from this end since they're not as even as they originally were until I screwed them up. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on, man. Grab those logs. In what? Oh, there we go. Look at that grab. Question is, can I get them? <laughs> can I get them all back to the to the landing? Uh, we'll see. We'll probably we'll probably end up dropping a few, but that's a nice load, though. So once I get the 12 meter logs all in place, then we'll load up the 12 meter trailers. Uh, there's something else I want to try too when we get over there. I bet you we're going to lose that log all the way on the left. Here, maybe I should not have that so tied up against the machine there. Try that. Oh, don't hit the stump. I mean, normally I don't care about hitting stumps in this thing. It's a beast, but I'd rather not lose my load here. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to swing these around this way. But this is just so much nicer, having all these logs nice and straight and lined up and ready to load, as opposed to the big rat's nest that we have when we're using the yarder. All right, nice. That's pretty good. Okay. One or two more 12 meter loads. I'll get all the shorties uh, later off camera, but I thought I'd bring you back, you know, for the tail end of the, the long logs anyways. You know, the only thing this machine's missing is a winch. If it had a winch on it, it, it would be perfect. <laughs> I know there are some yarders that, or I'm sorry, skidders that have a winch, but they use a winch, I think, instead of a big claw. And they just winch all the logs to them and then, you know, take them to the landing. There's, pro whoop, there's probably um, some mods on ModHub that do that. You know what? Let's get that, um, let's get that Ponderosa pine pushed in a little more, too. Probably won't be able to get all of them just because they're so wide, but let's just see what happens here. <laughs> Come on, dude. 
we're a little bit I can't pull that out anymore oh actually you know what we're okay yeah good all right we got almost all of them I'll take these around to this side so I don't have to turn quite so sharp Okay. I guess that's out as far as it's going to go. Okay, let's just give these a little love tap here. A love shove. Very nice. Okay, let's go get that last little bit and then... Uh, We'll start loading here. You know, the other nice thing about this too is with the yarder, it'll, it has a range and then once you're out of range, then you have to reposition it. Whereas this, you know, you can go all over the, the whole area. And I'm, again, I'm not knocking the yarder. It definitely has its place, and it, it's a fun tool to use as well. And, uh, you know, if and when we purchase property on some steep slopes, that's probably going to be where we're going to want to use it, I'm thinking. Come on, man. Get off there. All right. Do another shove. Wow, this thing's got some beef. We can move this whole stack. Look at that. <laughs> the skitter was just barely moving the whole stack, but this thing is like, yeah, I'll move it. Okay, that's probably good enough. All right, now the question here is. I'm going to save the game um, just in case some of these logs go berserk when we put the clamp down on them. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just barely got a hold of that one. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Dog, on it. All right. Um. Well, actually, here we can just push it. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. I was hoping I could get these a little bit better in the center, but this will be all right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop these down to about there. And then we're going to hop in the truck. Uh, cameras being pain in the butt. Look, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Okay, let's do another one. <laughs> this is fun, man. 
I mean, that seems to be right about in the center of the pile, but that doesn't mean it's going to be balanced because it depends upon, you know, the heavy end of the logs and stuff. Um, let's bring that out a little bit, too. Forward a little more to get underneath that Ponderosa. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard to get to, to get them like that. Uh, I mean, in quantity, but it's okay. Since this is a smaller pile, I'm just going to drive these in. Oh man, we might have we might have three more trailer loads here, you guys. We'll see. That would be nice if it worked that way. Is it possible to kind of get the lower lip of this down and try and scoop those logs? Not really. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, you know, three or four at a time is all we can get. That's all we can get. I wonder why that um, other clamp didn't come down. Maybe because that log's too high. This one's a little bit better balanced, though. I'm pretty sure we have more than two trailer loads. Probably not three trailer loads. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be close, actually. Only two? Oh, man. Oh, it's full. Okay. All right, let's close you up. And we'll pull this truck. Over here and stage him here. I love the sound of that container opening. It sounds so realistic. If there's one thing the Giants get right, it's the sounds. I mean, the sounds of this game are so good. All right. Let's get the rest of this loaded. All right. Oop. Excuse me. My voice just squeaked. We got two more full trailers and then a few more. What I'll probably end up doing with these logs is just cut them in half and then they'll be six meters. And we'll include them in the six meter load. Uh, the last load was pretty good. I, I think I just have to... Um, I mean, I think part of the problem is I'm probably pressing down a little too hard. But it's also a, a situation, I think, where you just have to kind of keep fiddling with it until you can get the, the grapple in there and get a good bite on them. Um, it might have been easier for me to actually use the front loader in hindsight, but I really do like this machine, though, so we gotta, I got to get used to, to using it. Okay. So we should uh, we should make somewhere around 200 grand from these two loads because there's not a lot of spruce in here. It's mostly um, lodgepole and ponderosa. In fact, it's mostly lodgepole, which is the best wood in the game um, as of right now. Anyway, it's kind of too bad. I think I've probably said this to you guys before, but it's kind of too bad that the Giants nerfed the spruce so much. I mean, it is severely less you know than the other than those other two and i don't know why 
I mean, unless, you know, unless it's the really that way in real life is, you know, is spruce, you guys know, is spruce like a, a really cheap wood compared to lodgepole pine and ponderosa pine? I don't know. It seems to me like it's, it's too unbalanced though. So I'd like to see the spruce, you know, price come more in, more in line with the, the other two. Um, you know, I, I haven't even planted any spruce on, on the, our first land and I'm not planning on, what is he dropping over? Uh, planting on here either for that reason and, and telling unless they change it, it doesn't make sense for us to. Okay, let's get these down to the container warehouse, make another 200 grand ish. But yeah, I got to tell you guys, uh, the skitter, <laughs> my favorite so far for sure, you know, for bringing the logs in to the landing. Definitely like that the most so far. Slow down, dude. Dude, you need to, you need to slow down. You're going crazy. What's the matter with that guy's a maniac driver? All right, let's see what we get here. Ninety-six thousand for that load, and a hundred and five. Nice, very nice. So we we actually cleared two hundred thousand dollars. Got just a tiny bit more. I'll take it. So that brings our total up to 450293 Uh Do I have a bank loan? Uh, I don't. Nope. That's all our money, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back to Logging Camp. Um, I'm going to send these two guys down to the store. And um, to get some six meter containers, and I, I don't know, man. I'll, we uh, we're gonna have at least three six meter containers, at least maybe four. So <laughs> I'm driving like a. Hey, you hit me! He hit me! <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's um send you to the store with auto drive and then the other guy will just follow him there okay and then I will uh, I'll drive the pickup down there to get them loaded so <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna work on getting all the six meters what I'll I'm gonna cut the camera here I'll bring you guys back once I have all the six meter logs loaded in containers so you can see how many we have and then we'll take those down to sell and make some more cha-ching. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I am back um, with the final, well, actually second to the final load of six meter logs off the grounds there. Uh, so let's drop those off. Uh, we have filled two and a little over a half trailers so far. I, I or not trailers. I'm sorry, containers. I purchased four, uh, but I don't think. Well, we might put we might put some in that final container, but we can always hang on to it and fill it later too. We don't have to turn it in immediately. So I just have a couple more logs up here to grab, and then we will. We'll definitely have get three containers. Absolutely going to get three containers, and then we'll see where we're at after that. Let's just push this over here. There we go. All it takes is one single log sticking out too far, and it can screw up everything else. <laughs> so. Three more full trailers of six meters is another 150,000, or close, very close to it. Uh, 
Okay, that's it. I still have to get all the stumps removed, uh, and I'll do that off camera before we we plant. But um, as far as the actual logging itself goes, we are finished logging this property. So we'll do the same thing we did on the first property: is we'll I'll get all the equipment cleared off of it and move to the next property, and then. Um, come back here with the planter and start planting trees. There we go. It's a nice load. No, close. There we go. That's a cool view, man. <laughs> I really like this view. There we go. Not quite half. Okay, let's grab all the scrap over here and get it in the, the scrap trailer. This will We'll take to the paper mill first and top it off, and then the rest will go to the lumber mill. No, don't start acting weird on me here. Yeah, we got most of it in there. I'll probably just load the rest of those by hand because those are all light enough to pick up. Fifty-two and fifty. Okay, so we got a hundred and two thousand and change from that. And forty-nine. Uh, so yeah, we we made just a smidge over 150 grand, which is really good. All right, so um, I'm gonna take the low boys back to the logging camp and load up all of our equipment and move it down to our new logging site, which is going to be. How much money do we have? Look at that, $586,000, you guys. <laughs> Such good money. Yeah, yeah, whatever, traffic. Just just chill for a second. I'm talking to the peeps here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to buy um, 36. So it's $115,000. Uh, this is all very flat in here. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that next. And then after that, I, I'm not even sure what farmland we're going to, or, well, logging land we'll buy next. Uh, we are going to buy these properties up here too, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. Um, so let's buy this now. And now we have a place to stay. In fact, we, we might even stage everything at the store. Um, well, maybe not at the store. There's a little bit of a clearing right here. And so, yeah, I'm going to get all of my equipment moved over there, except for 
the excavator because we need the excavator to plant. Unless I decide to try that other planter out, I'm not sure. And then I'm going to... Oh, and I'm going to take the forestry mulcher around and, you know, remove the rest of the stumps too, of course, before I, I uh, haul that away. And then I'll probably bring you guys back in the next episode, uh, maybe partway through the planting. We'll, may, we'll maybe we'll start the episode with the planting. The thing about the planting is it's cool and all, but <laughs> it's kind of just very tedious and repetitive. I guess it would be good for maybe for a uh, time lapse or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.